Okay, we're just going to talk about identifying the parts of an expression, because there's different parts that you should um, be really comfortable with. Um, the different parts of our expression are the terms, the coefficients, the like terms, and constants. Now, by terms, I mean terms like 5x, or 2, or negative 7x, or negative 3. These are the things on the other side of the operation. You might see 5x plus 2. Well, anything in between the operations would be considered a term. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. You'll see an example. The coefficient would be anything in front of um, the variable. Like 5x, the coefficient would be 5. Negative 7x, the coefficient would be negative 7. So if you think of co, the, the first um, two letters of coefficient, co, kind of like a co-worker or co-operate, it means you're working with somebody else, right? So 5x is working together. The coefficient will always be that first number next to the variable. Um, again, negative 7x, the coefficient is that first number that's in that partnership, okay? Like terms would be anything that you can end up combining, and we'll talk about that a little later. 5x and negative 7x, they have the same last name. They have the same variable. They are like terms. 2 and 3, these are both what is known as constants. They are able to be combined. Whenever you can combine um, uh, 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 terms, they are like terms. Um, an x and a y would not be like terms. If you had 5x and 7y, they would not be considered like terms because they have different variables and could not be combined. That would just simply remain 5x plus 7y or whatever it is. So like terms are the ones that have the same variable at the end or they're both constant. And again, a constant would be a number all on its own. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. In this example, we have 5x plus 2 minus 7x minus 3. Let's pick this apart a little bit. What are the terms? Well, the terms would be anything in between the operations. 5x is a term, 2 is a term, 7x is a term, and 3 is a term. Anything in between the operations. Okay, so these are all terms. I'm just going to write a t under each one. The coefficient we said is like anything who is working in a partnership, right? But it is the first number. The coefficient will always be um, the first number next to the variable. So 5 would be the coefficient there. And um, the 7 would be the coefficient there. And that's it in terms of our coefficients. That's all we have. And then we have like terms. Well, what are like terms? Anything that ends in the same variable, like 5x and, and 7x, those would be like terms. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a triangle up so you know they're matching. So that's, those two are matching. You can see that's, that remains a 7 there. So 5x and 7x are both like terms. But the other thing that is a like term are the two and the three. These are also like terms. So I usually like to put the shapes around them so that you could see what, what matches. Two and three are like terms, five and seven are like terms. Okay, and that leaves us with the constants. Well, two and three also happen to be the numbers that are constants. So this number and this number, a two and a three, these are constants because they never change. They are constant. Variables vary, they change. Constants remain the same, okay? So that's really it. Um, let's go ahead and do another one, just so you feel comfortable with this. Um, this is a little bit longer. Okay, so now we have 3y minus 4x plus 2y minus 9x minus 5. Okay, so let's do the same thing we did last time. We'll talk about first, what are our terms? Well, the terms, again, are anything in between the operations. So here's a term, here's a term, here's a term. Notice I'm leaving out anything in between. Here's a term, and here's a term. How many terms do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five terms. Okay, where are our coefficients? The coefficients are in that partnership, right? They work, they co-operate with somebody else. 3y, 4x, these are all the, the numbers and variables together. The coefficient is always that first number. So 3 is a coefficient, 
4 is a coefficient, 2 is a coefficient, oops, 9 is a coefficient, and that's it. So we have four coefficients, the 3, the 4, the 2, the 9. The, I leave out the variable because that's not what we're talking about. We're only talking about that first number. Okay. Like terms. Well, let's see what are like terms here. We have a 3y and we also have a 2y. Those are certainly matching. So I'm going to put a little triangle around 3y and one around 2y because we know at some point later we can combine those. And then we have 4x and 9x. So we're going to combine those. With, uh, or not combine them, we'll circle those. We'll combine in another video. So we have these two are matching, these two are matching, and this is a constant with no other like term that is matching. Okay, so that's it. The only, and which brings us to this one, which is our constant. So five is our constant. Okay, so those are the different parts of identifying a term. Um, identifying um, the parts of an expression, rather. So if you uh, practice this, I know you'd be real comfortable with it.